Hello. <clears throat> okay. So the pull in my stories last time I looked was tied. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, let's do turkey work today because the tie that made us tied was my vote of French knots. So um, anyways, let's do turkey work today. So we are going to make our snow fluffy with turkey work. I got most of my trees done. I just didn't do the stumps yet, but that's okay. Okay, so we are going to be working with the white and the very light gray, which is 02. Now, if you don't want to use any gray, you don't have to. This will just give it a little bit, um, just to make it a little bit darker so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, but if you have, if you want to use just all white, you can. Especially if you're working on like a darker fabric. Since my fabric is white, I want just a little bit of the gray in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use six strands of the um, white, and then I'm just gonna use one strand of the gray. So let me just measure that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull a single thread. Dun, 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 right there. That's my gray. I just want this to stand, I mean, it'll be fuzzy, so it will stand out anyways, but I just wanna make sure we're able to see all of our beautiful work. Okay, so I'm gonna work in this area first. And we'll see how far, how much we can do in an hour or in a half an hour. Okay. So that'll put seven strands in my needle. Now turkey work starts at the front. So do not tie a knot in your thread. We are going to use it. So what we're going to do is we are going to go down into our fabric to start our stitch. So I'm just gonna start right at the edge of this um, church and go down. And we're gonna leave this about a half an inch. So we leave that tail up there. Let me zoom in. Okay, so we've got this little tiny tail. We're gonna keep that, we're not gonna pull it through. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up from the back, just next to our stitch, not in the same hole, next to it. Oh, I pulled it all the way through. Hold on to your thread tighter than I am. Or make it just a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, so we're coming up from the back. And what we're gonna do is do an anchoring stitch. So we're just gonna stitch just right over top of that one that we just did. That one that we came up. Okay, so we went, we went down and left a tail. We came up on one side. We're going down on the other side. And that will kind of lock that strand into place and then I'm going to come up in the middle right where we came up last time or where we went down sorry so kind of using that same hole and going over a stitch length that's a little bit far we want these fairly close together 
and then we're gonna leave this loop. So about the same length, about a half an inch, you leave that loop there. Okay, now we're gonna come back up in this anchoring, this first anchoring stitch where we went down, we're gonna come up. I'm gonna do this again on the top line. So if, it, if it's not making sense, don't worry, I'll do it again. Okay, and then we're gonna anchor this loop by crossing over and going down on the other side of it. Clear as mud. And then we're just gonna keep that same, we're doing the same thing. So we're gonna come up where this loop went down and go over a stitch length keep our loop and we're gonna come up in our anchoring stitch and down on the other side of this loop and we're gonna do that all the way across this line up in our loop over a stitch length So our anchoring stitches are using the same holes and our loops are using the same holes. So it's kind of like how oh, we have, yeah, we did a stem stitch. So kind of like a stem stitch where you just go like and use like the halfway between the stitches. far apart try not to do that I'm talking to myself not to do that okay so we're gonna do one more anchoring stitch And then I'll go up to the next line and start again. I should have done the top line first. Whoops. Okay. So we will do more with this in just a minute. I'm going to do this one more time and then we'll trim our threads. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm going to move back and do it this way now. Just move these out of your way. Okay. Let me, hold on, let me actually start from scratch. You could just move up to the next line and do your first loop, but I want to start it again so that you can see that part again. So I'm going to tie mine off, but you don't need to. I just wanna be able to show that beginning piece again. Okay, so no knot. Our thread does not have a knot in it. I'm gonna go down. To start it, I'm gonna go down instead of coming from the back. Okay, so I'm keeping my stitch length, or I'm keeping about a half an inch of thread. I'm gonna come up on the side of this tail. And these threads are gonna get in my way. Okay, so we've got our tail. We're coming up next to it. We're gonna go down and anchor that thread. And then we're gonna come up in the same place that our tail is in using that same hole. Sorry, keep bumping this. And then we're gonna go over a stitch length. We're gonna 
keep that loop. We're gonna come up where our anchor stitch is and create another anchored stitch to hold that loop. Learn from my mistakes, do the top row first. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up again where my loop is. Over a stitch length and down. Keeping that loop. Now, once you have that anchoring stitch, you shouldn't be able to like pull these anymore. So that's what it's doing is like securing that stitch because we're gonna cut these. So we wanna make sure that they're secure. So that's what that anchoring stitch is doing. I am not making these close enough together. I'm gonna come up over here a little bit because I made that stitch length a little too long. almost to the end and then we will have some fun. Do you guys have any questions yet? While I finish these couple of little stitches, I'm gonna do one more loop. So we've got two rows. Let me tie this off. Okay. So we're gonna trim that and then keep a hold of your scissors. So now what we're gonna do is trim all of these loops. <laughs> and it feels scary, I think, <laughs> to like cut your threads, but it's fine. So go ahead and trim those and then trim these. Okay, so we have all this long. So what we're going to do is trim it short. Not too short, just trim it a little. So I'm going to cut the, whoops, sorry. I'm going to cut these in half and start there. Same thing up here, just cut these in half. 
be careful with things around it. You don't want to be trimming your trees. Okay, so that's about how long they are. That's still pretty long. I'm just gonna trim them a little bit more. Not too much. Just get all these little pieces out of there. Okay, I'm gonna leave this top one a little longer for a minute. Okay, so then what we're gonna go and do is to fluff these up. So some people use like a toothbrush. I just use like the eye of my needle. I just go ahead and rub that. We're just trying to like break up the threads so that each of the six kind of come apart and then each of like the single strands get fluffy. We just want like a nice little row of fluffy snow. We're gonna need to trim this again. So once you kind of fluff it, you can decide like how much shorter you wanna go. So I'm gonna trim some more. remover <laughs> at least I am okay I still want that shorter it's easier to cut more as you work than it is like you can't grow thread back so that's why I cut just like a little bit at a time and then decide what I want to do now you could fill up this entire space um, with turkey stitches just like line by line so like this whole thing would be like fluffy snow I do not plan on doing that I think just doing some ridges will be enough do this one too and then decide Just be gentle that you're not like grabbing your threads by like your trees or like when you're doing this like down by your houses that you're not like grabbing those threads and yanking them around.
my friends, is turkey work. You just kind of have to mess with it until it looks the way you want. But can you kind of see, like, this one has, like, gaps in it, like right here? Because I didn't do my stitches close enough together. So closer is better because it'll fill your space a little bit more. Nice little haircut on these little threads. <sighs> what do we think? Kind of fun. Fun little texture. Fun, fluffy snow. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to do the other sections yourself. So I'm just gonna plan on doing like a couple rows down here. Um, if you want to do like fill the space before you cut, like just do another row, like do another row right here pretty close together, do another row below that. Um, I forgot that you need to work from the top to the bottom. If you hold your, if you're holding your loops up, then you want to start up. If you're gonna hold your loops down, then you wanna start at the bottom and then work your way up. So it depends on what way you're gonna hold your loops out of the way um, to make that work. But then you can have that beautiful fluffy snow. Now, if you decide that you don't like how this looks, or if you're just finding you just don't like doing turkey work, um, you could also do a chain stitch or a stem stitch or um, a split stitch, which is all stitches that we've learned. So you could do that for around here. Um, and I just want you to kind of notice, like, you can't really tell that there's a gray in there. It just kind of makes the white a little darker. But anyways, so I'm going to do that down around the houses and then up by the deer and the trees. Okay. Okay. And then tomorrow we will do our stars and our snowflakes and that will be the end. Can you believe it? It's been two weeks. I just want you to see that. I'm, I might go back in and trim this side a little bit more. But it's all cute and fluffy. All right, friends, let me know if you have questions. Good luck, let me know, love or hate. I'm not, I'm not a big turkey work lover. I, I just, it's not my favorite stitch. So, um, I don't do it very often. We did it. I think the last time I taught it was last year at Christmas when we did our wreaths and there was a Santa Claus. We did his beard or his hat. One of the two. Anyways. Um, okay. So have fun. Let me know how it goes and I will see you tomorrow. So our class, don't forget, is a little later tomorrow at two o'clock instead of one o'clock. Bye.